2006, I got sick. I decided myself to go to the African doctors. They were telling me fake stories. By that time, I, the family neglected me. The caregiver came to see me. He gave me the words from the Bible. He talked to me. I said, okay, give me time. He came back again. Then third time, he came back again. He told me to go to the hospital. I've got no one who can take me to the hospital. He says, I'll take you to the hospital. So he took me to the hospital. They checked me in the blood. Then they said, you are positive. I refused. I said, no, I can't be positive. Where did I get this? I said, if I would die, who is going to keep my family? Condition was so bad. Yes, it was so bad. Because he was not eating, so always there at home. No one to help him, so the condition for Sianeza was really bad. So this time I would say Sianeza would not be around. Coming off Max Sweeney, the caregiver, I've seen that that was the lead of the, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why when I became well, I also decided when World Vision people trained me as a caregiver, I didn't refuse, I accepted. It encourages me because when I was also sick, when I looked up about my friend Maxine who, have, who helped me, that's why it encourages me. And when I read in the Bible, it says, help your friend. We won't see Jesus to come. If you help your friend, which means you help God. Become a caregiver, you need to have a heart. It's a heart. It's not an easy job. If it was not my caregiver to come to pick me to the hospital, this time I would have been dead. So I appreciate for his help and the help of the World Vision people who took him, trained him, to be HIV is not like it's not the end of the world. But they are most encouraged because of my life. They have seen that to be HIV positive, if you stick on, on rules, you, uh, you follow the law, then you'll be like him. Some they just point me, if you follow the rules, you'll be like that one.